everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i do all things baby today i'm going to be doing a video that was highly requested on my instagram which is how i sterilize my baby bottles and my pump parts this video has been requested for a couple months now i just got around to it just because i already had all the schedules for march and april videos so i was able to sneak this one into my schedule for may um so i used two different techniques as you guys know, I'm always on the go. I'm never home. So when I'm home, I use technique number one. And when I'm up and about, I use technique number two. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to be mentioning is this Avon 3-in-1 steam sterilizer. So it's a three-part sterilizer. Actually, it's a two-part sterilizer. The top part where you put all the lids. The bottom part where you put all the bottles and well the third part will be where you put all the water i love this machine i've used it i will say i started sterilizing well from the minute olivia was born up to till she was about six months i was sterilizing everything from her bottles to her pacifiers to her toys to literally everything including my pump parts so this machine was perfect because it literally takes seven minutes so what you will do i'll break it down for you guys so it's easy okay so what you would do this will be considered the bottom part you will add some water here you can use purified water or you can uh, use bottled water whatever water you want i use tap water which is great look you can see it's kind of almost like brand new and i've had it for over a year now um so if you use any other type of water and you see some white residues from the calcium of the water, just add some vinegar, some water and vinegar, let, let it sit there for a couple of minutes and it will wipe down just like new. So you're going to add the water here. Then you're going to add the first part, which will be this part right here. So if you see, there's about six holes in there. So for six bottles, so whatever size of bottles you use, it will fit right in there. As you guys know, I use the Kom Komotomo bottles. So only three three or four pushing it were able to fit in here just because they're very thick. So any other bottles that are longer, they will fit perfectly right in there. Then the nipples will go in here and the lids. So you will stack them like this and then you will put the lid on top and then you'll press start. So it will run for about five to seven minutes, which is not long at all. Then it comes with this little clip, grip, tongs, no. So you will get this um, in the Avon 3-in-1 steam sterilizer where you can just grab the bottles and just put it in your rack or whatever rack you, you guys use to let it air dry. It, don't, do not get close to that machine while it's steaming or when it was just recently done, just because you will get burned, trust me, I know from experience. Um, you will see in the lid here on the top, you will see the little hole where it releases the steam, so don't get anywhere near that item, and just make sure you have it somewhere where nobody will get burned, really. So what, what the way I had it in my house was next to the fridge in the corner, for, so whenever people walked by it, they weren't really close to it um so that that works great for me the only downside that i had for this avon sterilizer was the bottom part i don't know if you guys can see it's kind of yellowish right um so the bottom part of this sterilizer i don't know if it was wear and tear or i i'm not or just using it too much if you see the bottom this is very slick where you can just scrub it pretty fast but the bottom part is more Kind of like on the dryer side where everything will get stuck to it. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Oh, look, if I do this a lot, it might come up. Like, it might go away, but that's the only thing I didn't like. I didn't see this happening with uh, another sterilizer that I had, yet I didn't like the other sterilizer, so I'm not even going to talk about it. It was a microwave, a microwavable sterilizer which I hate it, but it still didn't get this dirty. Um, so keep in mind that when you're washing your bottles, make sure they're really washed and they don't have any type of residue, soap residue, milk residue, because they will get caught here in the bottom. Um, I tried soaking this into vinegar and water. 
it still didn't do the trick so now that i'm scratching it it's kind of coming off but i don't know if i really want to scratch everything because i might just damage it um i have reached out to the customer service <laughs> they haven't gone back to me um i'm not really worried because now that she is a year after six months or, or, or like around five to six months I kind of just wash everything with warm, lukewarm water and with a detergent, not detergent, soap, um, dish soap, and it was good to go. Like I try to have a balance between sterilizing everything and making sure that there's no viruses in her mouth and trying to like, you know, get her used to because they're kids. They're going to put anything in their mouth and you want to make sure that they get used to, you know, any type of viruses there, it, there is out there. So I did use that exclusively for six months, I will say. All my pump parts for the Medela pump uh, went right in there. It was perfect. So what you can do, sorry, I'm just gonna grab it again. So what you can do, if you only have small parts, you can just add the top part of the um, sterilizer and just use all your pacifiers, the nipples, or just the small pieces of your pump to sterilize. It will take the same amount of time to sterilize, the seven around the seven minutes. Um, so it's not like you're saving time it's just more for cleaning purposes that you want to use a small one instead of the, uh, the big version and you can do it the other way around so put the bottom part only and just lid on top um so that is my first um go to whenever i was in the house to sterilize all my bottles and my pump part just a note guys if you're using the willow pump because i know uh, my willow pump reviews and all of that jazz is the most popular in this channel. Do not sterilize your pump part. You only sterilize it once, once you receive the pump. And that's it, you don't need to sterilize it again. You just have to wash it uh, uh, really uh, thoroughly is the word. Uh, but you don't have to sterilize it. Do not do, not do that error because I know a lot of people have done it and it has damaged the pump part. So do not do it, only the Medela. Um, and all of the pumps that actually tell you you can sterilize it at every use are good to go in there. Okay, so the other item I use is more, it's not really an item, it's these bags that I bought from Medela. Um, they're essentially plastic bags where you would add a cup or an ounce of water or three ounces of water, I can't remember, I'll put the description here. You will add water, then you will add all your um, bottle parts, so the bottle, the nipple, and the lid you will close the bag and then you will just pop it in the microwave depending on the time it tells you to put it in for and then it will sterilize the bottle you will take it out carefully open it just like the same thing as a steamer let all the steam come out let it cool up for a couple of minutes before touching everything because you don't want to burn yourself so that's what i use whenever i was on the go um it was fairly inexpensive those bags i it had to up to 20 uses for the medela bags i used which i love so i could just quickly use that when i was i don't know at a friend's house sterilize it and just go on on my day just clean the bag quickly dry it pat it dry and then just go about my day um if not i will do the regular boiling all the parts which i enjoyed i looked like i was doing a magic potion because i will just put a big um in a big pot water um all the pump parts or my bottles and i'll just let it boil it there um so that will be kind of like whenever i was at a friend's house i'll do it that way or i will just use the bag which was easier because i don't really want to be telling my friend hey can i use your a pot <laughs> or can you wash a pot for me so i can use it um Whenever I was at the mall, I did that. I had no shame asking the subway guy, hey, can you put this in your fridge for in your microwave for three minutes and give it to me back? You know, like I, I deal my like I someone that does not have shame when it comes to my baby, I will ask Starbucks, hey, can I can I have like a cup of hot water to warm up my bottle or, or whatever? Like, cause I know there's some like uh drive throughs or what I'm not gonna name names, but there's some drive throughs that will ask you like why do you need hot water for? I don't know to warm up my baby's bottle or to drink a tea i don't know anyway so wherever you are if you need to use those little bags don't be ashamed just ask hey can i use your microwave for like three minutes and they'll usually say yes i mean if they say no you'll be like i need to sterilize my bottles for my baby they'll feel instantly bad <laughs> anyways guys that was it i just wanted to do this quickly so all the mommies out there that were asking me for how i sterilize all my bottles and all my pump parts you guys know 
how I do it. As I mentioned, I did use the Avent, uh, the one that's round for the microwave. I personally didn't like that just because I don't like microwaving things in general. And second, the way my microwave is built, it was just a hassle putting that big thing in there every time. And it made a lot of noise every time it, it, it was done because you know the microwave beep sound. Uh, so I try to move away from that and I got this. I actually put this one in my registry and one of my best friends got it for me. So I was like, great, I'm going to definitely use it. So far, it's been great. I haven't used it. It's been over seven months, over seven months that I haven't used it, but it's still maintained pretty clean. You guys have seen the bottom. It's neat. I'm just going to try to find a way how to clean that yellowness, which I know it's milk residue. My milk was very goldy. Um, I know that's for sure that was milk. I'm going to try to find a way how to clean that. If I do find a way, I will let you guys know. Okay, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I mean, comment down below, what do you guys use to sterilize your parts? Any techniques I might learn from? I will be, I would love to hear them. And don't forget, that was my baby calling me. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram to see all our daily adventures. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.